I'm going to discuss the RF framework. Okay, RF framework. Sorry, RF resource management. Sorry, guys. Sorry, RF resource management. Okay, what do you mean of uh, resource management? You know, resource, as we said, is not just only workers. It is a combination of the workers and equipments. Okay, as you know that what is the use of this um, resource management? So, like you know, you optimizing the warehouse tasks such a way that you know you can assign certain resources. Okay, everything at the end of the day, warehouse says that how efficient we can performing our activities, how we are going to save the time and money. Okay, so that you know. Don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest SAP videos. Uh, they will benefit for the warehouse um, in terms of warehouse efficiency. Okay, see the, the simple uh, the concept is effective utilization of warehouse resources. Okay, and also manage the number of warehouse operators required in the warehouse. So they can also assess the, how many number of, of various operators required. So once they know that managing the, this uh, effect utilization of these queues and everything, so they can always assess, okay, they need more people or less people, okay? So that's where they can decide also. And also using resource management, you can always calculate the travel distances, okay? For example, the day he starts, the day ends. So what day he started, what day end, what are the activities performed? How much it travel? Okay. And we can always calculate is a travel distance also, especially labor management. You know, if we embed a labor management, then this resource management can be very helpful for that. Okay. And also, it always helps uh, uh, resource capacity constraints and it's overall improving the warehouse efficiency. Okay. As we discussed, like, you know, uh, resource management. It is a two or three ways we can always go for system driven. Okay. So system only drives for him. Like when you log in certain uh, queues, so system will drive for him. What are the activities he's supposed to do for that? That is called a system assigned. So we are going to do system assigned configuration now. How we are going to do queues, how we are going to assign uh, queues to the certain activities so that how queues are determined so that when you create a warehouse task and you need not to enter any warehouse order or HU, just if you enter the queues, automatically it drives for him what are the activities he has to perform. Okay, we have a provision where we can always assign okay, resource to the management. If you look at here, the warehouse order is automatically assigned, is, is a system guided. Okay, system guided. Okay, whatever the warehouse order, the system guided, if you log into the uh, queue as a, a queues, then it takes the it automatically in the resource. Okay. We can always, even I can override, okay, resource uh, queues to the other person also. Okay. We can do even supervise that will sit. He can always change the queues also. He can always change. He can always prioritize the warehouse orders. Okay. There are occasions where assuming that system is guided for him certain activities, but because of some warehouse demand, some uh, customer demand, I can always override. I can place priority queues for him. Priority queues means priority warehouse or the picking warehouse task or anything. Okay. So we are not done outbound. So you maybe see something new. Okay. But outbound side, we will discuss more on that. Okay. So we, we also discussed last time uh, where we can see these transactions. Some master data is required. Apart from the config, okay, there is a master data we need to maintain. Okay, so like maintain presentation device, a PR DVC is a presentation, so PR DVC. And also we said is a resource management under the uh, easy access section, various management, master data, where we can find resource management. So we need to follow according this one. Okay, we need to maintain users, resource, and the resource group, and queues. So that's where is a queue is a data mined for that. Okay. And also in a config level, this is the config level, IMZ level, config level under the cross cross settings where we can see our resource management, like defining the resource types and the queue types, queues, determination of the queue management, everything under the resource management. We already know this RF mobile data where we are seeing these uh, logical transactions, RF menu manager, RF screen. And one more thing we didn't discuss about the verification control. Just now I spoke to you, verification control, okay? How you can control the verifications, okay? Where I can see this verification, once you assign it, 
certain your warehouse whether can i enable can i disable these verifications okay even though you, you assign you say that these are the fields you wanted as a part of your uh, activities warehouse activities but you can always whether you want to enable or disable even i can go i can see at the logical transaction i can manage it okay we will see that how we can we can take one example we will walk through that okay this is the where we can see that okay so you know that now under the cross pass functional where we can see resource management and there are certain transactions where we have to do that okay so we we will use most as i said rsrc this is the transaction where we use effectively so if you want to add several resources and the resource type and the resource group and the queues that's where we discuss more on that okay like as i said the resource you need to see queue queue means what what kind of queues we have a three things very clear guys is inbound outbound and internal that is a very high level okay but within the queue do you uh, like within the uh, queue types like you know we can always manage it okay inbound i can manage hundreds of queues and you and outbound i can make hundreds of queues even internal i can make one by one queues okay but at the top level okay queue is always we can see is whether internal or inbound or outbound okay two things can i enforce my resource only working is inbound only inbound or like you know is a, uh, i can go for resource group such a way that under the resource group i can manage like by sequential way okay so two things if i if i specify resource group i won't specify as a queue okay because i under the resource group i will maintain all the queues first inbound it goes to the outbound next to go to the internal like that i will manage it okay so either of one you, you need to choose if i use the resource group there under that i can manage everything if i specify just queues then only particular queue only the resource can be performed so you may not do more than active so always you need to decide that it depends on the business you need to explain that whether you wanted this particular resource only inbound then you assign as a queue if you don't want then you can go for the resource group okay okay so that's what i explained right so if i don't specify any resource group i can go for just inbound so the inbound means only the resource whatever the resource only you can perform only inbound activities when you lock in the rf gun so you can enter as a queue as a inbound only you can do the inbound activities okay so that's where we can do that don't forget to subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to update yourself with latest sap videos okay we will see that choose queue management all the things okay and yeah don't worry about just and i'm trying to give more information before going to the sap screens okay and we also today we have already seen both the rf screens and rf menu managers and uh, where we can see rf screen manager where we can control uh, different uh, sizes or uh, depends on the device that they use whether is the forklift guys or whether is just resource or uh, like you know so depends on that okay and also you know you need to know that more on this so even queue management is a very very important like for example when you are assigning certain uh, screen manager to certain forklift guys so he cannot go to the mezzanine location you know that right so mezzanine it won't allow the forklift there okay so like that you know we need to uh, very uh, particular in that aspect okay when you assign certain uh, profiles so the queues are very important that queues should not assign to the forklift guy so that he cannot he should not he should not divert system should not divert to the mezzanine location mezzanine forklift is not at all allowed so that's where we need to see that okay so which devices are resources allowed certain locations so we can always control for that okay you know that generally forklift they won't allow certain locations even a forklift cannot cross the any conveyor belts or anything so that's why we can restrict so we can also only assign particular uh, queues for them so that you can you can do that okay and uh, so presentation device also you know 